Staying with that theme, this next story is a, is a demonstration of Franco-American ties, if you like. It's a video that went viral over the weekend of an American man crashing a live broadcast on French TV. All right, sorry, this was on the French channel BFM. Uh, the correspondent was in Philadelphia. I wish that we could show you the video, but because of rights issues, it's probably not a good idea. Um, instead, you can take a look at this tweet from Sana Saeed that went viral. Um, I'll also put a link on the press review page. Anyway, this guy comes up alongside the presenters, and he starts talking about how beautiful France is. He says he ate escargot. He loves croissant and omelette du fromage, which is actually, you know, it should be omelette au fromage. Um, he also makes the classic ha 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 noise, which a lot of French people, if you do that to them, have like no idea what you're what you're trying to say. Anyway, in short, this could be sort of offensive to a lot of people here in France. Um, the magazine Forbes, though, has actually tracked this man down. His name is Mecca Onyanetu, and he's a francophile. It turns out, he says he hope he really hopes people didn't take it the wrong way. He says, you know, the French are great. He's traveled here. He studied the language back in his school days. Uh, he works to support the office of the U.S. Secretary of State. It's worth noting, and friends have been joking uh, that he could be maybe the next ambassador to France. I think, you know, <laughs> why you not? Never know. It's, I, a whole, it's a whole new age. He's 15 minutes of fame as the omelette du fromage man. All right, love that. All right, one final viral story, Allison, to wrap up from the weekend this time. A, a lot of attention is being paid to the bizarre location where Trump's campaign decided to hold a press conference on Saturday. That's right. It was in the parking lot of a garden a supply store called Four C. Seasons Total Landscaping. Now, Four Seasons is also the name of a luxury hotel chain. And as The Cut explains, the presumption here that many people are making is that this location was a mistake, that maybe the Trump campaign wanted it to be at the Four Seasons Hotel. Uh, there has been no real explanation explanation as to why uh, this location was chosen. Uh, papers point out that it was a really random place. The store is between a crematorium and a sex shop. Uh, there, and there are a lot of writers who've been really seizing on the strange symbolism of this. Uh, as this writer from The Cut says, I cannot imagine a tidier visual metaphor for the collapse of Trump's presidency. <laughs> Allison, thank you so much for that. Allison Sargent, with that look at the papers for you, that wraps it up for me today. Focus is up next, and Live from Paris continues at the top of the hour. Stay with us.